Yo, what's up, guys? It's Tony, aka T Slaps here. We are here with our week two team builder versus the Olympique. I think that's how you pronounce it. Maybe Olympique. I don't know. But the Olympique Flygons uh, and Coach Keegan. Of course, his um, his social media and all that will be down in the description below, as well as any other coach in the NCP. Everyone will be down there in the description below. Um, last week we were coming off uh, a loss to Kurt, a 3 0 loss. Not a terrible game. It was definitely very, very close. And um, as you'll see from the standings right here, we're tied for the 10th seed. Keegan uh, picked up a win last week, so he is currently in the 5th seed. We're tied right here. Um, and we're just looking to pick up our first win in Wi Fi here against him. He's also new to the Wi Fi scene, but like I said, he did pick up his win. So we're looking to pick up our first win as well in the Wi Fi scene. Um, so yeah. As you'll see, our team is the same six, or I mean, same ten that we always, or that we had last time. Uh, if you guys did not see the draft analysis or last week's video, the playlist for the NPC will be down in the description below. Um, but yeah, we are still rocking out with the same ten. I really am looking at some transactions, but I mean, there's a whole, not a whole lot around, and there's not a whole lot of coach treatings that I'm really looking at. There are a couple, but. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be lucky enough to get them through. Uh, but we got the Necrozma, Weavile, Melmetal, Mandibuzz, Sil Valley, Aromatis, Gastrodon, Rotomo, Magmortar, and Nihilego. And my opponent's team is up here at the top. We got Tortis, Slowbro, Cinderace, Cartana, Hippowdon, Diancy, Dracozolt, Throw, Roselia, and Corviknight. So for one, uh, Cinderace, Cartana, and Torn T, all very, very scary for my team, especially the Torn T and the Cinderace, because they both pretty much have the freedom to run Modest or Adamant, you know, an attack a boosting ability rather than a speed boosting. Uh, I'm sorry, not ability, but nature, because of my speed tiers. They, like, for perfectly sp are, like, within the threshold that where my my speed tiers are gapped right now so it sucks that he has both of them Draco's of course in sand a complete complete threat to almost any team uh cartana is very very scary for my team to deal with as well and i'm not gonna lie throw uh it could be scary as well um and then breaking down his team with some i mean he has some good defensive uh walls with slow bro and hip out on and corviknight so I mean, he has a, a a great team. I don't remember where he stacked up on the uh, the post draft rankings, but I'm sure it was pretty high up uh, with his team. So what we decided to bring was uh, a heavy duty boots mag mortar with flame charge. If uh, with my speed investment, I should um, I think I should be speed creeping. Um, a certain Drake of Zolt uh, speed creep that I have, and then I also outspeed Tornadus at plus one. Um, so if I get to plus two, I should outspeed pretty much everything on his team outside of, I don't know, like Scarf Drake of Zolt and Sand. If I get up to plus two, I'm looking good. Um, I may only need plus one if one, I get Drake of Zolt out of Sand, or if there's no other, and if there's no other Scarfers, like I think Garhana could be Scarfed. Um, that's really like the only main thing I see for him scarfing this week against me. Uh, but yeah, Flamethrower obviously for our main stabs. Scorching Sands can touch the Diancy, the Draco's Volt, and the Thunderbolt for that slow bro. And then Heavy Duty Boots I thought was pretty nice for his hazards. Next we got uh, Baby Keem here, the Weavile with Protective Pads. is between Protective Pads or Boots, but as you'll see we are running both the Triple Axle and the Beat Up. And both of those make contact. And with me having Melmetal, even though I sat it out with me, also having Melmetal I think he's very likely to bring some um, some Rocky Helmet users. Whether it be the Torn, the Slowbro, the Hippowdon, you know, the Diancy, whatever. Corviknight, all that. Um, we are able to run Adamant. That is me protecting his Torn T and Cinderace speed creeping, uh, which is very, very dangerous, but I think it'll work out. Um, very confident in those. Uh, triple Axle, Knock Off, Beat Up, and Ice Shard. Obviously, Triple Axle for our main stab. Knock Off, main stab, Ice Shard priority, and Beat Up. So, my thought process there is his Slowbro is either going to be Cobraberry or. Um, what is it called? Cobraberry or. Rocky Helmet. There you go. I couldn't remember that. The freaking item. You could also be Leftovers, I guess. And maybe even an AV set, but I definitely think that Cobra could be there for the lore for me. And Beat Up, as long as I have five to six Mons alive, 
Um, I should be able to two a KO it no matter what with a beat up. Um, I was doing the calculation to the math, and I really should be able to, uh, especially if I have all six alive, I should be able to two a KO even through Cobra Berry. That's really what this has been for to beat his Cobra Berry lore for my Weavile. Um, and then protected pad on the off chance that he is still Rocky Helmet, I can of course just keep beating up, and it won't really matter that much. Um, but yeah, that's why I brought that, and I'm really hoping that it works out. And then we got Thuggy here, our Gastrodon with Earth Power, Ice Beam, Toxic, and Recover, just mainly physically defensive to deal with the the, the Cinderace and then the Draco Zolt. I should be able to take a Draco pretty well and Dragon Claws, uh, depending on the Draco Zolt spread item. And so that's kind of why we're running a little bit of special defense investment, uh, but really meant to take on that Cinderace. Of course, it can U-turn on us pretty uh, freely, and then it can pivot out into uh, like Artana to take advantage of it, but there's not a whole lot we can do about it, so that's what we're going to rock out with. Uh, next we got a, a very interesting Rotom spread. It's meant to be a soft check to Torrenty. Not a, it's not an amazing one no matter what, but it's a soft check. I'm 100% willing to sacrifice this Rotom here to get the Will-O-Wisp off on the Draco Zolt. To nerf that Draco Zolt would be amazing. It's just really meant to break down his walls. The Corviknight, the uh, Slowbro, and the Hippowdon all, of course, really weak to him. I thought I was supposed to be Thunderbolt on this. I meant to switch it to Thunderbolt, not Volt Switch. So I think I'm gonna. That's what I was meant to do. I, I had it switched off because I wanted to be able to stay in on the Slowbro and a lot of other mods. The Slowbro and the Torn if I needed to and not be forced to Volt Switch out. And the Corviknight. So. I'm going to change it to Thunderbolt and get that change. It was meant to be Thunderbolt, and hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt, but I think that Thunderbolt is a lot better than Volt Switch in this matchup, so um, don't mind me. I'm just going <laughs> to just gonna change that up and make sure that's right here on this. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, and then Pain Split just to get myself healthy. Um, as for the exact spread and why I'm running what I'm running, let me see if I took notes on that. Not really, so there's that. Um... Next we got a Power Herb, Nihileo. Okay, so I really wanted rocks on this team. I really wanted to bring rocks. Um, and my only two rockers on the team were Nihileo and uh, and the Charisma. And I knew that there was no way I was fitting both of them on the team. I really wanted to try to make both work. But in my eyes, I just could not see it working. And I felt like with either one of the sets, I wanted to run... Um, a setup set while also trying to fit rocks onto it and Nihiligo was a lot better at fitting that than the Necrozma was. Um, also this is supposed to be 31 here. That's really important. Um, so I might have to regen them real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get these two redone. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be 31 to ensure that bulk up, not bulk up, uh, beat up does the most damage. So, I'm gonna have to redo that. But, um, what was I going? Yeah, so between Necrozma being a setup attacker and a stealth rocker, I just think Nihiligo did that job a lot better. So we got Power Gym, Grass Knot, Meteor Beam, and Stealth Rocks with the Power Herb. I did not need a lot of speed investment. Um, or, sorry, this is what's up with the investment. I needed a lot of speed investment, but I didn't need any special attack investment because what I want is to get the plus one with the meteor beam special attack boost. But then, whenever I get the beast boost kills, I want to be able to get the speed boost to outspeed like the Scarf Karkatana or the Tornadus uh, or the Cinderace or the Trickazol in the Sand or whatever it may be. So, I was pretty much running look, like zero special attack to ensure that I get the speed boost. And so, I would run a lot of bulk. And because of that, I might be able to switch into that uh, Torn T as well in order to. Um, take a hit from it as long as it's not running any like crazy physical coverage like superpower I'm sure it would still do a lot to me but really this is also just a meant to set up rocks that's really what I wanted it for but you can also hopefully set up the late game for either my Weavile or my Magmortar to clean up um, if I want to sweep with this thing instead I would need the, need the Diancy and the Throne to really be gone or at least like heavily damaged um, so yeah that's why I'm running that and then last we got a Sub Valley. Now Sub Valley, I really wanted the team for my Defogger. I didn't love Manda Buzz this matchup. I considered it, um, and I didn't want to run Defog on my Rotom. But I, it was just a toss up between what Sub Valley said I wanted to run. I wanted to run Fire because it would be able to switch into 
uh, the Cinderace better, the Cortana better. Um, but the problem with that though then is that, I mean, Slowbro hurt me a lot, the Hippowdon hurt me a lot, and with this being my defogger, uh, having to take 25% from rocks really, really sucked. Um, so there wasn't really a lot I could do. I, I mean, I thought about ground and rock, but I just decided that steel would be nice to I only take 6% from rocks in order to get the defog off. And I would also be able to switch into Torn a bit better. It'd be, it'd be just another option for Torn. Um, Diancy, because I don't really have the greatest uh, way to stop Diancy. And then also to help me break down Core of a Night, because this flamethrower 2 it KOs uh, almost. Uh, what kind of a two akios a where's it at two akios fizz def corbinate there you go so that's why i'm bringing this just multi-attack you turn flamethrower defog i considered parting shot but i didn't want to get parting shot back with the whoever uh mirror armor so i decided you turn would be better and it might be nice for the chip on the slow bro and uh just the overall so that's why we're running this spread and then I was able to run quiet just because of the speed gap between, um, what is it, Cartana and Draco's ult. It's pretty heavy. So I was able to run quiet and really not have to worry about it. That's the team. Um, as for Torn, I mean, Torn could be a number of sets like Boots or Yachi Berry, I think, are most likely with Modest. You know, uh, Hurricane, he could have Nasty Plot, Taunt Toxic. I think there's a lot he could do. The Slowbro, I'm leaning heavily towards either Rocky Helmet or Cold Brew, but I guess he could also be Assault Vest. Um, I'd have to watch out for me the Calm Mind or Nasty Plot. The Cinderace, I think, will just be Boots or Banded. Uh, and he's also the only um, priority on his team with Sucker Punch. That's the only priority his team gets. Cartana, it will either be Life Orb or Scarfed, I think. Um, Hit Powdon. I gotta watch to see, because there's a number of items it could be. And it's probably gonna be physically defensive. Either the Smooth Rock, the Leftovers, or the Helmet. Probably the most likely three items he's gonna bring. The Diancy, uh, probably bring Fizz Def. I can see the Diancy being brought. Draco's ult, probably just going to be a life orb set. I got to kind of find out what its investment's like. Draco's ult is very, very scary for my team. Throw, I think, could come. Uh, I think he could either be an Assault Vest set or a Flame Orb Gut set um, with Bulk Up. I think Bulk Up could be a good bring for him. So I got to watch out for the throw. Corviknight, I think it would be Fizz Def. Got to make sure that he doesn't get any Body Press Iron Defense off. And I think he might be carrying Whirlwind on that, on that Corver Knight. So that's something I need to be careful of. Oh, that or on the Hip Powdon. The Hip Powdon could also be carrying Whirlwind. So, um, yeah, gotta watch out for that. And then he has the Roselia as well. And I don't think it's, it's probably the least likely member of his team to come. But I guess it could become uh, if it wanted to. But I just think that it gets abused by the Mel Metal too much. Especially if you already put him on the sleep or isn't carrying sleep powder, it just gets sent in uh, for free and it pretty much claims. So I don't think he brings the Rosalia. But anyways, that's my team of eight. I need to watch for sand turns, I need to watch out for any scarfers, and I need to keep my mag mortar healthy for that Cartana. So, that's the team I'm bringing, and this is going to go up on Thursday, so tomorrow, Friday, you will see the week two battle. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been T-Slaps and I'm out.